let's say um, we have three differential equations right here and I want to create a direction field or slope field for these three equations. So the program that we're using is, uh, is called cow plot 3D. Okay, if you Google cow plot 3D, uh, this is the first thing we show up here. Click on it. This is an example of how they use this program to uh, do visualizations for uh, 3D visualizations. All right, let's uh, select a vector vector field. In this case, I want to use a uh, show system of DE's notation, right? And then I will restrict the view to 2D. Uh, you can use constant primary color or you can use different colors, it's up to you. And you want to use fixed length for all the vectors. So this is an example. But uh, let's adjust our this parameter here. So this is this shows a system of three uh, differential equations, dx, dt, dy, dt, dz, dt. But if you only have one equation, dy, dx, where x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable, then we can just use one of uh, these equations here. And I set my uh, view to 2D, so dz, dt will be zero. Dx, dt, I call it one. And then dy dt will be uh, in place for dx, dy dx, when dx dt equals to 1. So the, for the first equation I have is y times 1 minus y over 4. And then divide by 2, it's just the same as multiply it to, uh, by 1 half, right? And then I hit enter. And keep in mind that I created a vector field or a, a direction field, but this window is only from negative two to two and negative two to two. So I want to adjust my window so I can have a better pictures of my direction field for this equation. So I would like to click here and it will say, let's increase my x to six, y to six. And then, um, and then you look at this is uh, it will tell you the number of vectors along the x-axis and along the y-axis. I want to have more vectors along both axes, so I can have a better um, idea of this uh, vector view. So again, it's still six here and here. All right. So now you can see that this is a, a direction field for this, the first differential equations. If I want to move this a little to the center, I move the focus point here. Too much, Let's see, two. Okay. So as you can look at this direction fields here, you have um, vectors like slope vectors at some points, right? So just imagine that you have 20 vectors on the x-axis and 20 vectors on the y-axis. Totally, you would have 400 vectors, uh, vectors in this direction field. And as you can see that if you want to look at the solution curve, you just need to click on, um, click at a point that will, this point here will be the initial uh, value, one of the initial values. Right? This point here is one of the point uh, one of the uh, specific points on your uh, solution curve. So if you start at this point, this is the solution curve. This is how it looks like. If you start at this point below the x-axis, the solution curve will be this curve. And if you start at this point, you can see that solution curve is an exponential curve, right? Decreasing exponential curve. And as you can uh, know, you can notice that uh, if I click here, so the my solution will go up. Click here, it will go down. So at some point, it seems to me that my uh, solution curves, different solution curves, are changing the directions around this value, right? And uh, if I click at four, my solution curve is just a straight horizontal line. What does that mean? That means when uh, y equals to four, 
Okay. The derivative dy dx is zero. Also, if you click at zero here, exactly at zero, you have the derivative. When y equals to zero, the derivative equals to zero. That match the equations here, right? If you look at this equation, if you set dy dx equals to zero, you get y equals to zero and y equals to four. If y equals to zero, dy dx equals to zero. If y equals to four, then dy dx is also equal to zero. So that's why we have these two uh, straight horizontal line for solution curve. If you start at four, as x increasing, y is not changing at all. If you start at zero, similarly, as x increasing, y is not changing at all. And then if you start at a point that is in between five and six, as x increasing, y decreasing, and then this solution curve here approaches to the curve y equals to four. Well, let me add one function, y equals to four here. Okay, and you can see that the solution curve here approaches to y equals to four. If it start here, it's also approaches to y equals to four. Or so you start it like at the point a little bit above four, the solution curve still approaches to y equals to four. Similarly, if I add another point, uh, another functions y equals to zero, then um, you can see that if I start here. It's very sensitive, right? If you start here, the solution curve seems to approach is to four still, right? Start here. All the solution curves of both zero up to four are approaches to are approaching to four. But if I start at a point that below zero, then my solution curve will go down to negative infinity. So in using direction field, you can see the behavior of your differential equations, right? The behavior of your solution depending on where you start. So each of these points here, and again, is a specific point on the curve um, that we are given. Now, uh, if I want to uh, draw uh, or create a direction field for the second equation, you see that I just need to change this to y plus x. Okay. Things change. And then in this direction field, you can see that along the line y equals to negative x, all the um, vectors here are horizontal vectors. Okay. And then I can y equals to negative x is what I want to have. So this line, along this line, you can see that all the vectors along this line are horizontal. That means when x equals to negative y, the derivative of the functions dy dx equals zero, which makes sense. So look at here. When you set dy dx equals to zero, y equals to negative x. Okay. When uh, y is on the plane where the value of y is greater than the value of x, this point right here, all the vectors are positive, right? According to the, the equation here, when y is greater than x, all the um, vectors are positive, greater than negatives. So on the um, plane where, um, y is less than negative x, then all the vectors here are negative, which makes sense. If you take y plus x is set it equals to zero, then y is, is, so when the absolute value of y is bigger than the absolute value of x, then you have positive value. When the absolute, of, uh, absolute value of y is less than the absolute um, value of x, then you have other negative values. That means you have all the slopes here are negative. So this line here, y equals to negative x, divide 
uh, the xy plane into two different planes, right? On this plane, all the vectors are positive. On this plane, all the vectors are negative. So this is in a, a, vec uh, a direction field for these differential equations. And again, if you click, if you start at different points, you have different solution curve. You can see it here. If you start down here, you have different solution curve. Okay. So on and so forth. So you start here, the solution's going back up. Start here, your solutions it's going down to negative infinity. This is how you analyze your differential equations and kind of see um, the behavior of your solution will look like. And depend again, it, it it depends on where you start or where is where do you find a specific point of the curve. So the next example here is similar to the first one, all right. And then these points right here, as you see that if it starts here, then your solutions are as x increases, y increases and approaches to two. And if you start at this point, if, as x increases, y decreases to the point where y equals to two. So y, and, the, and then and you can say that y equals to two is a equilibrium solutions. And, and y equal to zero, again, is an, also another equilibri equilibrium solutions. It's equilibrium solutions because if you start at y equals to two, your function is not changing. And x, as x increasing, uh, y it is keeping the same value. It's not changing at all. So that's why they call it is a equilibrium solutions. And uh, also, um, most of the points around two, if you start, at the points like above two or uh, below two and above zero, all the solutions are approaching to the value of y equals to two. That's why, again, y equals to two is one of the equilibrium solutions. In this case, zero, x equals zero is also a uh, equilibrium solutions here. Um, if you start be above zero, it's approach is next to the, the solutions approaches to the next equilibrium solutions. If you start below zero, the solutions will uh, go down, will go down to zero, uh, to negative infinity, all right? And you can see it right away, right? If you look at the differential equations, when you set it equal to zero, y equal to zero, then um, y equal to zero is a one of the equilibrium solutions, and then y equal to two is another equilibrium solution for these differential equations. And this this equations, the first and the third equation here are called autonomous equations because on the right side of dy dx, right, dy dx is solely depending on the value of y. So that's why it's called autonomous equations. And we'll learn how to um, analyze the behavior of autonomous equations in the next sections. And you can use, and again, you can use this uh, direction field to visualize the solutions of your differential equations with uh, a specific initial value, right?